Hi, welcome to InnoFrames. I am Rakesh Babu, your host for this channel. Can a wife's problem in the kitchen become an inspiration to innovate? Can a caring husband create a household first aid product? The answer is yes to both. Earl Dixon, who was working with Johnson & Johnson, is attributed with the invention of Band-Aid, the adhesive bandage. Earl Dixon had married Josephine Knight Dixon. She would often get cuts on her hand during cooking activities. Most common method to take care of such a cut would be to place some cotton and wind a strip of fabric. This activity was not only difficult but also risky as even a small wound infection could be an issue in those days as there were no antibiotics available. Such ad hoc method was neither easy nor safe. The moment of innovation came around in the early 1920s when Josephine shared this persisting problem with her husband. When Earl Dixon heard Josephine's experience, he instantly thought of finding a method to solve. He brought surgical adhesive tape and antiseptic cotton gauze, both products available in his company Johnson & Johnson. His initial solution was an 18-inch by 3-inch strip of adhesive tape with a narrow lining of cotton gauze in the middle of the adhesive tape. He then used a crinoline fabric to stop the adhesive tape from sticking to itself. This was neatly rolled and kept ready for use whenever Josephine wanted to use. When required, all she had to do was unfold the roll as much as she wanted and cut with scissors and stick it to cover the wound. This improvisation worked so well that the couple were very happy with the solution. Not stopping at that, Earl Dixon took the idea to his boss who saw the value in the product and launched the test batch with name Band-Aid. The product, as we all would assume, did not see instant fame. It was difficult for people to understand the usage and the company had to arrange demonstrations to pharmacists and doctors. Band-Aid brand adhesive bandages officially entered the commercial markets in the year 1921. The product was improvised and a pre-cut individually wrapped product that we all see even today was released in the year 1924. Today, Band-Aid is a generic term instead of a brand name. This practical innovation was granted with a patent in the year 1926. The idea started off with a simple necessity but involved into a useful innovation for everyone. This method of combining two components is a classic example of using tool combine in the functional innovation toolkit. Do subscribe and stay connected to watch the next episode of InnoFrames. And until then, bye.